Welcome to the second part of the video. This is setting up the KK flight control board and hopefully flying. So before I turn it on I'm just going to point out that uh, this board is very easy to use. On one side you have the connections going to the receiver. There's only four channels used. You can add a fifth which is aux. And on the other side you've got the connections going to the speed controllers and the last one going to the servo. It's written on the back of the board as to where each wire goes. So before I turn it on it's important to note that I have taken the propellers off and obviously you should turn on the transmitter first before you connect the battery of the model. So there you go, I've connected the battery and now I'll just zoom in. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is check that the transmitter and the receiver are receiving the right signals. So if we go on menu, you can see one of the first options is receiver test. I've set up a new model on my transmitter and it's important that the transmitter model is of an aeroplane and not a helicopter. So here you can see it shows the four channels and one by one you just need to check they are correct. So I'll start with the throttle, it's at zero at the moment, as I go up it increases, that is correct. Rudder, if I go right, it goes right, if I go left, it goes left. This allows you to set up neutral values as well and then we'll look at elevator, so I'm going to go forward and it's saying back, I'm going back and it's saying forward, so that's reversed and error on. I'm going right, it's saying left, and now I'm going left, it's saying right. So I just need to reverse the channels on those two. So I'd obviously do that on my transmitter. Okay, so I've adjusted the direction of the two incorrect channels. I've also corrected end travels, so they're 100% and made sure they're okay in the center. So that's the first step over. So the next thing we want to do is configure the type of model. So go all the way down. It says show motor layout and just for your reference if you enter on that you'll show these things come default as a quad in the plus configuration. We don't want that so we want to go down and we want to load motor layout. So here we get all the options. We're going to come down to Tricopter. Press enter. Are you sure? Yes. So now it's loaded up as a Tricopter and it shows you the channels which you can configure. Uh, at this screen I need to point out that again my Tricopter is going to be flying backwards initially until I work out how to do a custom mix. So it shows me that the one at the front which is effectively the back will be three, this one's going to be one, on the left is going to be one, and on the right is going to be two. It does show you the directions the motors should turn from experience I've found, it doesn't really matter on a tricopter. It does on all others where you need to adjust the speed of the motors to adjust the yaw, because we've got a servo adjusting the yaw, it doesn't really make a difference. So once you've uh, got this set up for a tricopter you then know which channels to connect the wires to. So the next thing we are going to do is calibrate the sensor. You may be able to see on this screen it says the ACC not calibrated. So to address that problem we go through the menu and we go down to ACC calibration. Press enter and it tells us to put the aircraft on a level surface and press continue. Now it counts down from 5 seconds and it's very important while it's doing the calibration not to move the model. And there we go, that is done. It says it's successful and once we come out of that menu and go back to the main manual we now find we can arm the model. So at this point we are now ready to fly. 
there is one more setting I wish to check and that is the yaw direction. Right, the next thing we need to check is the yaw or rudder direction. This is quite an important one to do. Uh, what happens when the model starts to turn, the servo will make an adjustment to stop that turning. However, if the yaw direction is the incorrect way, when it starts to make that adjustment, it will put the movement the wrong way and make it worse. It will then see it's got worse and put more movement in the wrong direction and eventually the model will just spin out of control. Okay, so I've tried to do a demonstration of uh, how to work out whether the yaw is the correct direction and it hasn't worked. Uh, so I have to be honest, the easiest way to do this is to put the propellers on it. Um, I've connected a battery, so if we arm it and then give it some throttle, what you want to see is when you give it a turn, it should resist your turning. So hopefully you could see that, the faster I moved the more it turned and it uh, stopped the movement. If it's the wrong way around what you will find is it will actively try to spin the model, which you do not want. You adjust that by going into the uh, mixer mode and going down to channel 4 and changing the direction from 100 positive to 100 negative or the other way around depending on which way it is. Okay so I got to a good stage yesterday where all the channels were set up correctly decided uh, the next stage was just to uh, see if it would um, not quite take off on the living room floor just so I could see all the directions were correct but every time I uh, increased the throttle what I found was because the model was facing backwards um, it was effectively going forward straight towards my ankle so I kind of had to abort that and uh, needed to progress the uh, changing the direction so uh, I had a little surf online and uh, found out how to do the mixing. So I'm going to try and explain briefly how to do it. But it gets a bit complicated. So you'll have to bear with me on this one. So if we look at the original configuration, you can see motors 1 and 2 are at the front, one being on the left and two being on the right, and a third motor with the servo comes straight down at the back. You can see the numbers referring to each channel down here, and if you look at this graph, you get a better understanding of where these numbers come from. Motor number one is in this section here. That's a positive pitch and a negative roll. Number two is in this section, which is positive pitch, positive roll. And motor three comes straight down here, which is negative pitch and zero roll. So that's where those numbers come from. And you actually use a cosine and a sine to calculate the actual percentages. So if we look at what I have, we have motors 1 and 2 now at the back, but number 1 is still on the left and number 2 is still on the right, and this time number 3 is straightforward. And if you refer to the graph, you can see that number 1 is in this section now, which is negative roll and negative pitch. Number 2 is in this section, which is still negative pitch but positive roll. And number three is straight forwards, which is positive pitch, zero roll. Again, we just use the two equations to work out the actual values. And in the case of mine, the radius from the center of the flight control board to motors one and two, uh, the distance is slightly less from the flight control board to number three. Because of that, instead of using one, we use 0 0.93. This just works out as a ratio between the distances from the longest one, which is 3, to the shortest ones. And if you put all those into the equations, you will come up with these values down here. OK, 
Okay, so this is Saturday morning. I've been making this model for a week. I started cutting out the bits last Saturday. I had a little fly last night in the living room and everything looked okay, so we're now going to come down to my favourite testing ground and see if we can get it fly. What I discovered last night is you need to uh, lift the front wheel up to stop it going forward. I've also taped the rear wheels to stop it uh, rolling away. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's actually quite stable. I'm quite pleased by that. We'll get your control. Bring it back into the camera. Glad I had those on. Okay, let's try that again. I'm quite pleased by that, I'll just change the angle. Okay, so that was quite successful. I think I'll go and get Action Man, see if I can get him flying. Okay, so this is the real test. Can I get Action Man to fly? I've uh, taped him in to uh, stop him moving about and falling into a propeller. But let's give it a go.
so it looks like all the power is going to the front fan so I'm just going to move the battery back a bit. Okay, so it seems like it will lift Action Man, but I need to make an adjustment on the front servo because I've uh, got a bit of yaw error. But otherwise, that's quite a successful test. I'm going to take the Action Man off and just uh, have another fly around. Okay, so I've had a little fly around and it seems to be quite successful. I still need to make a few adjustments. I would think that a four cell battery would uh, work better. But overall, for a one week build, I'm quite pleased. So, thank you for watching.